as being a tool, uh, considering uh, social media as a tool, uh, is a tool to respond to a social need. And, uh, yes. They are, they are it, not... At the beginning, I mean, I mean the start usually mm -hmm. is... Uh, uh, as a response, is take is the start is you know citizens use or people normal people use uh, this media uh, for their social uh, individual and social needs, and then they discover that they can use it for maybe some more collective uh, sort of actions, and that has happened from the very beginning. I should say from the very beginning of the internet. You remember the Seattle movement back in, uh, you know, the mid-90s, uh, was it? Yeah, the latest, late 90s. That was already a mobilization through the internet, was the early days of the internet. You can imagine 10 years from now what they will invent to, uh, to, to um, involve people, potentially at least. Um, so it would be really I see it in a, in a, let's say, in an optimistic, probably too much, but um, pretty optimistic about people uh, learning to use these social media for social and political purposes. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, what does it say about authority nowadays? Authority? Yes. I authority. mean, political authority. Yes. For well, first of all, uh, they have to realize, and most of them have realized, maybe not fully, but they have realized that they cannot disregard a, a, a strong section of public opinion uh, before considering it uh, electorate, but public opinion that is being formed not on the traditional media, which were directly and indirectly uh, connected and controlled uh, to the, you know, uh, established parties and governments and leaders. But uh, this new public opinion, which is uh, concentrating sometimes on certain hot issues of, of the country, uh, this public opinion is being formed through the, through the web, so mm -hmm. through uncontrolled web. And in democracy you cannot control this, you cannot um, act like in Iran, where they can afford, you know, cutting the networks. But in in, um, in in the democratic countries, that's not possible. So the politicians, the authority, has to uh, come to terms uh, with these uh, movements of opinion. They can turn very strong overnight. Mm -hmm. So they have to be careful more than in the past. So they, it's not enough to control the whole media. And it's, it's impossible to control the new media, so you have to do some, something about it. And mm -hmm. some politicians are realizing that they have to do something. They don't know yet what to do with them. Mm -hmm. but they, they have to do it because everybody is doing, is doing that, so they cannot... Yeah, they can use them themselves, but, you know, um, people are getting suspicious when, mm -hmm. you know, there is a page of the prime minister the page, Facebook page of the Prime Minister. <laughs> um, I really guess that most of the reactions, especially from the young, is to make a mockery of the, of, of the Facebook page of the Prime Minister. Maybe some other people will uh, be happy to get the information from the Prime Minister himself or herself. Yeah, but uh, um, um, it's not enough to uh, use those media yourself. You have to uh, to try to uh, respond to the claims and demands and the needs that come from the people. Mm -hmm. In the past, there was a filter between you know the political uh, governing or ruling classes mm -hmm. and the citizens. Mm -hmm. You know the demands of the citizens were somehow represented by the media, mm -hmm. and so the politicians will listen rather to the media and probably sometimes and not necessarily we will listen then to the, uh, to the voters and to the citizens. Now uh, they have to monitor, at least they said they, has to, they have to do, they have to monitor very carefully what's born in the pen of uh, social media 
uh, driven public opinion. Yes, but um, I was thinking about the Portuguese case uh, that we have here, our president uh, of the Republic. He has a Facebook page and he writes, or someone writes for him, we don't know, but it's, it's his official page. And But uh, it seems more that he is um, following a trend. Politicians have to be on Facebook. And if you are on Facebook, it means that you are a, a modern man, that you are willing to follow the tendencies, and you, are, you don't have no prejudice towards the new technologies. But on the other hand, uh, it looks like that he's not talking with people. He's, he's trying to have a, a new channel to talk with journalists, because journalists are following uh, all the Facebook pages. So he has a, a new, refreshed way to say what he wants to say through Facebook. And uh, journalists, they are very, very in love with new technologies. So they hear and they are uh, monitoring his page every time, much more than they did through the traditional channels. So it's, it's a special way to reach traditional media through new media. Yes, well, this is, uh, I didn't know about this, and I guess this is a smart and clever way to, um, to mm -hmm. monitor, because of course you cannot monitor each citizen, you know, if they have millions, you know, it takes uh, maybe a staff mm -hmm. of people, uh, and probably some software would be, have, will have to be invented in order to, you know, um, filter all you know demands uh, using different words different uh, cross media messages you know it's it's uh, really as i said a chaotic uh, sort of a wave you know um well, the idea of uh, using as an intermediate as intermediaries the uh, the journalists can be um, yeah, can be a good a good idea to, because of course he cannot speak to everybody you know uh, but the fact of having a home um, a Facebook page, mm -hmm. of course, yeah, it is a demonstration that you want to be modern and fashionable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that, that you know something that has to do with uh, vanity. Okay, I mean it's legitimate. Mm -hmm. But how you use your Facebook page and how interactive and um, and um, involving. Um, uh, the citizens, uh, that is the question, and that depends on the politician, on the political climate, on the national uh, national character, you know, are people using a lot of social media or not? Uh, so it depends on many variables that, of mm -hmm. course, we cannot uh, treat uh, uh, distinctively in every mm -hmm. country, but, it, you know, every country has uh, different nuances mm -hmm. in way in the way politicians use the new media and in the way they uh, uh, succeed in communicating to citizens and voters. Mm -hmm. uh, just one last question to finish our interview. I just would like to ask you, what are you researching right now? I'm doing a comparative research with Patricia Moy and, and Michael Senos from, uh, uh, from the U.S. Uh, uh, about um, pop politics, of course, in four different countries. We could have loved to have enough money <laughs> to study more countries and have a, 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 a wider picture of the phenomenon. And the four countries now are Italy, of course, uh, the U.S. and two other um, um, countries from Northern Europe, following broadly, but not necessarily the Halin and Mancini uh, mm -hmm. division of, uh, uh, yeah, Southern Europe, the Mediterranean model, Italy, mm -hmm. the uh, corporate uh, model, uh, Germany, and the transatlantic model, U.K. and the U.S. I mean, that is, you know, a functional division, um, sort of representation of uh, differences, even though the way they interpret the relation between media and politics and, uh, and between power and journalists is different from the approach that we have. Mm -hmm. So um, we hope to end the, finish the empirical research by the middle 
of 2012 and come out with the book uh, reports uh, by the end of next year. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.